Hey everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we are going to be doing the long-awaited AGS 101 mod on the Game Boy Advance. I've been really excited to do this mod for a very long time. I'm back from holidays and uh, yeah, let's crack on. So you may or may not have seen in my last video, I did a review of the Game Boy Color Lite, which is a uh, AGS 101 screen inside a Game Boy Color. This was very, very kindly sent to me by a gentleman on Instagram, so go and check out that video. But now it's time to add a AGS 101 um, backlit Game Boy Advance to my collection. So I picked this up from eBay for £15, it's boxed, which is quite nice. Um, it's a little bit grubby. It also comes with the manuals and stuff as well, which is really cool. It also came with a game, uh, which is not fantastic, but still a nice gesture, and the batteries as well, which is great. I do believe this thing works, at least I hope it does. Oh, maybe it doesn't work. Right, well, we'll need to, um, oh no, maybe the battery just wasn't improved. No, it doesn't work, it genuinely doesn't work. Okay, well, we'll need to diagnose what's wrong with that. But uh, yeah, okay, moving swiftly on. Um, I've got quite a few different bits and bobs um, ready to make this uh, mod. I'm gonna do a custom shell. Now, a lot of people make the uh, SNES um, Game Boy uh, Advance kind of type, uh, or the Super Famicom rather. You can buy these on AliExpress for so, so cheap. I think this is about five pounds. Um, but what actually I'm gonna do is just use the um, use the provided uh, shell here, so the gray, and then in the kit that I bought the uh, screen with, and I think the screen was just over 20 pounds, um, it comes with the AGS 101 screen, of course, which is fantastic, and then it comes with a glass screen lens, which I'm just definitely gonna use. Um, it's quite generic using this um, plastic Super Famicom one, and I'd kind of like to um, keep it glass, just like this one, so I'm gonna be sticking that on there and doing a kind of gray hybrid so I think the first thing to do is to take apart this uh, Game Boy Advance. I just realized the batteries are in the wrong way. This thing does actually work fine. That's kind of uh, relieving. But anyway, back to the uh, music. What an absolutely lovely mod. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It looks absolutely fantastic. I ended up actually not using these buttons. I couldn't get them to be um, clean and also the color just didn't really quite go. 
Uh, it looked a little bit like um, I just didn't have the right parts for it. So I decided just to go with the um, Famicom Vibe. Plus it kind of gives it like a, a nice little colorful um, look to it. So I'm super happy with how this turned out. Everything looks um, fantastic. This is the first time that I'm putting a game um, in here. We'll use the one that the device came with. Switch it on. And, oh, it hasn't recognized that there's a game in there. Let's try that again. There we go. Seriously, seriously easy. Like, I just, it takes one um, wire to solder. As you will have seen, I had to um, cut up some of the plastic. That was probably the other hard bit. And uh, that was it. Other than that, it pretty much just fits together. It was a little bit of a squeeze, but um, everything goes together fine. Um, I did use a little bit of sandpaper just to sand down the bezel, and in the process, I managed to somewhat scratch the uh, the front just down here. But I'll um, probably be swapping it into the purple casing soon anyway, so that it can match my um, Game Boy Color light. But let's have a quick game here. It just looks absolutely brilliant, honestly. I think this is possibly one of the best ways to play um, Game Boy Advance games. It's a lot more comfortable than the um, AGS 101 SP, um, and also it's a lot cheaper. You can pick up, um, you don't have to go with all the replacement casing and the glass screen, um, you just need to buy the replacement screen, which if you look out on AliExpress and eBay, sometimes they go up for just over £20, which is really, really reasonable for how incredible this mod is. Obviously, it also means you can play your Game Boy and Game Boy Color games with a nice backlit screen, um, but you don't get the, quite the same form factor. That's why I'd recommend the Game Boy Color Lite for that. Um, sp for those specific titles, but yeah, seriously happy. I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. I don't really know what's going on, um, but yeah, I'm so happy with how this has turned out. It looks brilliant. Um, it was really easy to do. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section below. I've been asked to do this for a very, very long time, and now I've finally done it. So if you enjoyed the video, please let me know. If you'd like to see any other mods, please suggest them down below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.